Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and welcome to another tutorial today. We are going to be creating this card today. So again, I'm going to be using one of our new stamps or a couple of our new stamps, should I say, and some of our old. And this is just to show you how well they work together. I am using watercolour card you can of course use this on the multifarious card as well if you wish. And I'm going to start with the books. Inking up in the Nocturne. And we're going to pop that down round about there. Remembering that you're on watercolour card, so you just need to let that ink soak in a little bit longer. So give it a good press and see what we've got. There we go. So the next thing I'm going to do is stamp our little Rory on top of the books. So make sure that He's completely covered. Being a silhouette, it's always a little bit more tricky. If you hold it to the light, you can see where the ink is wet on the stamp, which gives you a bit of a guide. So I'm going to pop him on the very edge there. And then I've got some little lamps and I'm going to use the Nocturne again. Tiny little stamps. On one way. And we've got a lamp going the other way. I'm going to pop that right next to it. And then I've got a little foliage stamp. And this time I'm going to ink up in the twilight. These little tiny stamps are absolutely great for just adding a little bit of something. I just think a little bit of foliage just brings it to life. We can add more if we want, but let's just start with some colour now. I am starting with the Sun Dance from our Elements. I'm going to start in the middle there. It's a nice light colour, easy to blend. So I kind of want that glow all the way around. And now I'm going to bring in the Bermuda which is another really lovely colour. So just keep on swirling your brush around and around and the colours will meet and start blending really nicely together and you've still got that lovely yellow in the centre. So I'm going one darker again now, I'm going to use the Midnight Blue and this time I'm taking a smaller stencil brush because I just want the very edge I want it to be a little bit more controlled. So 
So start off with your dark colour right in the corners, right on the edge and then sweep it in gradually. And you can see that the darker I make that edge, the more your eye is pulled into the centre there. So the next thing we're going to do is stamp one of our fairy verses. This is from our latest release. And this one is a Dazzlerian. I'm going to take off and then stamp over the top. I just want it to be very much in the background. This verse, as I say, is all about a Dazzlerian born between November the 17th and December the 17th. So have a little read about yourself if you're born between those dates and you are a Dazzlerian. The finishing touches add something to it, don't they? So I'm going to use the stars just to go over the top and we shall ink up again in the twilight. A few little stars up by the side there. Just brings it to life, doesn't it? A little bit of magic. I am going to use my Posca pen, um, this is the yellow, but this is the glitter one, which is absolutely fabulous for highlighting. So I'm going to go along the edges of the books. And I'm going to finish with a little bit of glitter. Just running a little up the sides there. And I think I'm pretty much done. First of all, let me just see if I can show you that lovely glittery yellow. I'm hoping you can see that. But it's fabulous. Yeah, so I hope that you've enjoyed today's demonstration. Thanks so much for joining me. You take care and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.